it's very significant um, because, you know, the business is a high fixed cost business, which means that profits in the segment are very sensitive to swings in revenue. So a prolonged period of closure will be devastating. Um, And although we don't expect a return to full capacity anytime soon, some capacity is better than none. In China, as you mentioned, in Shanghai, you know, the government's imposed limits on capacity of around 30 percent. We suspect in Florida it will be a similar amount. But, you know, a return to normality or at least a path towards a return to normality is very important for this division, given its uh, relatively high fixed cost base. And you say some capacity is better than none. What are the economics here? What kind of attendance numbers does Disney need to see for these uh, parks to no longer be loss making? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think um, because it's a high fixed cost business, uh, we will see, you know, we, we, we will see profits be very sensitive to small swings in revenue. And I think, you know, a 30 to 50 percent um, capacity would be good. Um, it's difficult to say, you know, what the break-even level is because they don't really disclose that split. But, you know, a return to normality or at least a path towards a return to normality is very important for this division because, because it's relatively high fixed cost base. And beyond the parks division, what is the outlook for Disney's media networks, which have also been highly challenged by the outbreak? Yeah, so, you know, broadly speaking, you know, the the segment isn't immune to the mounting pressures for pay TV, which includes cord cutting and cord shaving. But generally, it, there does appear to be some pent up demand. You know, if we look at ESPN, for example, although there's been uh, impact from the cancellation of live sports, we are seeing record viewership for some of the new content. So the last dance. Um, and the NFL draft, you know, was one of the most watched ever. So there is significant pent-up demand, um, uh, particularly for sports and television when they resume.